The two envelopes containing the secret were ultimately transferred to the Vatican in 1957. Sister Lucy had written on the outside of each of the envelopes that the secret was to be opened and revealed to the world in 1960. Canon Barthes writes about his meeting with Sister Lucy in 1946. She was with the Bishop of Fatima. And Canon Barthes asked, when will the third part of the secret or the third secret be released? And they both said 1960. He asked, why 1960? And they both replied, because the Blessed Virgin wishes it so. Now in 1955, Cardinal Ottaviani met Sister Lucy on May 17th after he had been to Fatima, he went to Coimbra. And there he asked Sister Lucy, why 1960? And she answered, because it will be clearer. In January 1959, Pope John XXIII announced the forthcoming Second Vatican Council. In August of the same year, after having read the secret, he was reported to have said, the third secret does not concern the years of my pontificate. Thus, 1960 came and went, and despite the Virgin's explicit request, the secret was not revealed, even though the entire Catholic world was awaiting its publication. In February 1960, a High Vatican official made an anonymous report to the press, stating, It is most likely that the letter in which Sister Lucy wrote down the words of the Virgin, which Our Lady confided as a secret to the three little shepherds, in the Covita era will never be opened. It is most probable that the secret of Fatima will remain forever under absolute seal. Cardinal Sarah Gera, the Cardinal Patriarch of Lisbon at the time, expressed his disappointment. I affirm categorically that I was not consulted on this subject. What I did know of its non-disclosure in 1960, I learned through the papers. Cardinal Sarah Gera who was Patriarch of Lisbon, held the most exalted place in the Catholic Church in Portugal and was well known for his fervent devotion to the Fatima message. Yet, even though Pope John XXIII had consulted a number of prelates regarding the Third Secret, it seems Cardinal Serragera was deliberately shut out. This is particularly troubling since Cardinal Serragera was certainly the most knowledgeable of all the prelates about the details and events at Fatima. Yet the Cardinal learned that the secret would not be released, not from anyone in John XXIII's Vatican, but from the newspapers, just like everyone else. Like the Cardinal, Catholics the world over were stunned and subsequently disillusioned by this development. We all had this very big in our consciousness and we knew 1960 was coming. 1960 was the year the third secret was going to be revealed. The first time I heard of Fatima, I was a Protestant boy in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and the year was 1960. I was a school patrol fellow and walked around with my flag protecting my fellow students and was chosen to go to Washington, D.C. on a special trip. And I was getting ready, going on the bus, driving in the car with my mother and uh, heard on the radio that the third secret of Fatima would not be revealed, that the Pope had read it and it was decided by the officials in the Vatican that it would not be announced to the world. And we waited and we waited and still nothing and nothing and nothing. Um, there was an almost audible silence about the thing. People were disillusioned, I think, eventually. We all had a sense that perhaps we'd been had. In fact, I remember the feeling I can only describe it as a kind of spiritual desolation when I learned that the decision had been made and the third secret would not be revealed. What was written in the secret that the whole world was waiting to hear? Was there something to hide? 